Welcome to the Sauce Mob. Hit that button that say subscribe and join the ride. You feel me? All right, chat. We had a lot of good information yesterday, chat. And just to sum it up, Mike Wang had went to TikTok to fully explain all the details that was in the game. So let's listen to my boy, Mike. Let's see what he got to say. Talk to him, Mike. Today I'm gonna to talk about what's new with your My Player in 2K21 Next Gen. First things first, no more pie charts. We've taken in a lot of community feedback and given you more customization and options in the My Player Builder. A lot of thought and redesign went into badges for Next Gen. Many favorites return, some have undergone some functional changes, and there are a lot of new ones added too. We've also made some big changes to the takeover system. Instead of limiting players to just eight general archetype based takeovers, we've broken those eight into 24 specific takeover abilities. Takeover is now a multi-tier system. You choose a primary and a secondary takeover, and you can activate one or both if you choose to do so. In honor of Kobe, we've created the Mamba Mentality Badge that will unlock when you have all your badge points. That will allow you to change your takeovers whenever you want. And your AI teammates are going to play much smarter in Next Gen. Two of my favorite additions are the much improved switching logic on defense and the new Next Gen game planning feature, which allows you to run your offense exclusively through your best players. Chad, I don't know how long it's going to take to, to, to get all your badge point, to get all your takeover points or whatever it's called, so you can start choosing as many badges as you want. And I know some badges got to be limited to your play style. But since you can be almost anything, are you going to be limited? Who knows? They're going to have to do something. They're going to have to limit you. So I'm pretty sure you can't be a point guard. Like with a glass cleaning takeover is what I mean to say. I don't think they're going to let you do that. So we're going to see how the game come out. 24 different badges for Kobe. And once you reach a certain level, you get that Mamba mentality where you can start substituting badges for your primary and secondary. During gameplay, you activate primary first, but then you can save up to get to your secondary, and then you can activate them both together. I like the way they talk, and I like the way that game is being handled. Chat, here is a list of the badges that got removed. They remove consistent finisher, contact finisher, cross key scorer, finish, fancy footwork, fast break finisher, deep hooks, pick and roller, relentless, showtime, deep fades, flex release, hot start, pick and popper, pump fake maestro, range extender, quick draw, steady shooter, pump fake maestro, flashy passer, lob city passer, lightning reflexes, and moving truck. And then they added a whole new list of badges that I'm not gonna read. You get what I'm saying? Here is basically what they added right there in front of your face. It's under the yellow called new badges. I don't know how to feel about this. We're gonna see when the game come out how badges work and we're gonna see which ones we don't need because you always know you don't need most of the badges in the game. But fact that they switching it up, I like that. One thing I want in 2K, is new content added like on a monthly bi-weekly basis like imagine every two weeks 2k add a new badge to the game imagine every two weeks 2k add a new layup package a new dribble package a new jump shot base imagine they just add stuff every once a month every two weeks you know how they add clothes every every weekend what if they throw in a, a new dribble move here a new badge there a new layup a new dunk uh bro y'all gotta keep the content fresh and all these badges they could have uh, they could go alongside badges we already got uh in 2k and then y'all can just keep adding on to it because you know like the stop and pop three badge the one that they call in for jj reddick's who want to pull up threes and transition what's the difference between that and difficult shots you get what i'm saying so this one is literally a boost to a transition three-pointer so if i'm if we get a turnover and i'm running down the court and i pull up off balance it's a boosted shot going along with my clown badge anyway chat there's a whole lot going on in 2k that 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 that, that, that i just don't know about man i just don't know about we got this screenshot here of one of the pages of building your player you can see that there's going to be cause and effect of how you upgrade your height and weight just as i thought just as i thought if you want to be 6 8 you automatically cannot have a 80 ball handle and 80 
ball handling is important because that's when you get pro level three dribbling but then is the 99 rule in effect so once you reach 97 overall then you get that plus two ball handling now your 6-8 can can hit them pro level three moves again we don't know how this game working out but i really love how they doing this i really i'm really glad they gave us the freedom to play the game how we want you know just based off this we don't know what position he is but we guess his shooting guard small forward area he can have that contact dunks he can have great three-point shooting at six eight this is a good build whatever this is that lets you know this game is going to give you a lot of fun to play around with and his hair I don't know what to say about that hair, but other than that, Chad, I'm liking what we getting from 2K. Chat, we got the full categorized takeover list right here, and it's properly colorized, properly lined up. Best takeovers to get off my opinion on first look. You got slashing, finishing moves is the one you go with. Able to absorb contact and finish at the rim, that sound like the posterizing one. Um, post scoring, I don't care. Um, shot creating. I don't like any of those. I'm avoiding shot creating at all costs. All those takeovers look trash. I'm going to be honest. You can read them for yourself, but I'm not liking how any of those sound. Sharpshooting, both of those sound valuable. Limitless range and spot up precision. We're going to see how practical limitless range is. If you literally pulling up once you cross half court, GG. That sound like a GG to me. Once that takeover light up, the defender just gonna have to pick you up at half court because they don't know which one you got. They don't know if you got which one at primary because I'm. It's not gonna tell you which which version of it you got. You're gonna just have to assume. You can completely skip playmaker, lock down. You gotta go with extreme clamps because what's the point of enhanced jump shot contest? Extreme clamps keep you in front of the def keep you in front of the ball handler. As long as I'm locking you down. And put my hands up that's a red contest so i don't even need extreme contest when i'm already clamping you from extreme clamps rim protector badge you got to go with paint intimidation the other two useless and on the glass cleaner i say go and see the future y'all can make choices that like y'all want i just gave y'all a quick rundown of my opinion finishing moves from slashing skip post scoring skip shot creating limitless and spot up off sharp shooting look good skip playmaking extreme clamps look good paint intimidation look good and see the future look good just straight off the bat those seem like the most important ones you get what i'm saying y'all can make opinions down in the comments which takeovers you feel in the most let me know but other than that chat let me know what y'all thinking about this my career content down in the comments yeah my players are going to be fire what build you looking to make because we getting a whole lot of juice fun listen chat i'm gonna be the first to admit i want to make a slashing girl i want to make a pure slashing girl build rumor has it that you can make girls in next gen and if we can make a pure slashing girl i'm gonna put my listen 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 mind your business that's all i'm gonna say chat. other than that hit that like button if you enjoyed hit that dislike button if you didn't hit that button that say subscribe to join this mob other than that follow me on social media twitter instagram reese getting out of here man where all the plays are for the best scorer on the court or how about pound the ball inside this will auto select the best post scorer <laughs> Y'all gotta <laughs> Why is that what <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, bro? <laughs> Why is that how you used to describe it? That that doesn't make any sense. Why is that how he had to describe that? I can't be the only person that think that that's weird. That is so stupid. Where all the plays are for the best scorer on the court. Or how about pound the ball inside? This will auto select the best post scorer and run plays exclusively for him. Why couldn't it be called get a ball to the post score? Pound the ball inside. What the hell is that? What do that gotta do with <laughs> what do that gotta do with post scoring? It's really helpful in my career mode, especially if you're running with someone like Anthony Davis. When you go to your on the fly coaching, you can just select pound the ball inside. He keeps saying this stuff! You see when you play with you can select. You can <laughs> you can also <laughs>
<laughs> Stop saying it. Stop saying it. Especially if you're running with someone like Anthony Davis. When you go to your on the fly coaching, you can just select pound the ball inside and just let him go to work. <laughs> you can select pound the ball inside and let him go to work. <laughs> He said it, not me. He the one that said it, bro. He said that, not me. It was Shay. <laughs> Why do they My talk career, like this? Like what are y'all doing? When you go to your on-the-fly coaching, you can just select pound the ball inside <laughs> and just let him go to work. <laughs> this would be great if you run a pick and roll and create a mismatch first and then select pound the ball inside. Here's <laughs> some of the takeaways from today's vlog. Mike says there's been a what lot of changes at the 2K about? headquarters. 